Hey everyone, this is Gary Kay. Welcome back to another pre-Infocom edition of my Rants and Rays video cast where we're counting down the days to the big event. Uh, and today's no different. I'm uh, going to be talking, we're going to be talking to Sharp NEC uh, Displays of America. And uh, we have both Todd Bowman, who is the president and CEO, and Jennifer Che, who is the vice president of marketing on with us today. I wanna, first off, I want to thank both of you for taking time. I mean, I'm amazed that we get you both uh, when we're so close to the show, but Todd, uh, I want to start with you. Um, obviously, uh, big news in the last few years has been the joint venture. Can you give us a status update on how that's going? Yeah, certainly. Uh, first of all, thanks, uh, Gary, for your time as well today. I know we're all busy uh, in prep uh, and uh, we we are too, but thank you for uh, for the time and we're happy and uh, to do this. Um, we're very excited about Infocom this year. Um, uh, it's great. We've heard that attendance uh, will be up, at least registrations up. So we're we're looking for just a really good turnout at Infocom and uh, being able to you know continue to to connect and reconnect in some cases with uh, our customers and partners. So we're really excited about the event. Believe it or not, this is our third year um, attending Infocom under the Sharp NEC uh, Display Solutions uh, brand logo. So. It's amazing how how time flies. Um, you know, we have uh, three years uh, gone, but this will be our third year that we're in attendance under uh, Sharp NEC Display Solutions. So we're excited about that. <clears throat> so in regards to the joint venture, maybe just a, a brief history uh, on where we've uh, come from. So uh, we're two and a half years into the joint venture. Um, uh, as a reminder, when we first started, we immediately integrated right the sales and marketing groups. And that was really to give a common uh, face to our customers and to have really that common touch right to our customers. Uh, from there, we uh, took on the, the big task of integrating our ERP solutions or systems, right? And and as anybody knows, in doing that, uh, it's a pretty heavy lift to to integrate the systems. Uh, okay. We we worked through that, and that really gives us now a uh, a common way to engage with our customers, right? So first was the common face. Now we have a common way to engage with our our customers. In this past year. Uh, we focused on integrating our back office uh, as well as our supply chain uh, and logistic uh, operations. And that really now, too, all focused on the customer uh, gives us an easier way to actually reach our customers right through a, a common effort. So it's all been customer focused, and that's uh, where we've uh, been headed. Uh, in parallel to this, uh, behind the scenes uh, in Japan and locally, uh, we've been harmonizing our uh, engineering and R&D teams, uh, as well as our uh, product roadmaps. And uh, we're excited at uh, Infocom this year. We'll be showcasing some of the first products uh, under this unified uh, R&D engineering development structure. And Jen will talk more about that. But we're excited to show uh, our first products coming out uh, under the uh, strength that we have within this joint venture. Uh, we are uh, continue to be uh, focused on quality and uh, reliability. Uh, that's what stands strong behind uh, our brand. So uh, that focus will continue. Uh, and uh, really the next step here is looking at how we build a, a common service and support structure uh, here locally. Uh, right now it's a little bit different, uh, but now it's time to bring that together and have uh, our support and service model fully integrated. So that's uh, that's a little bit of the history of the joint venture and where we're headed. Again, we're excited to be able to showcase at Infocom uh, next week some of the new products that we have under the, the joint venture. Yeah, and it's exciting because, as I said in the very beginning of this, when it was announced, the 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 synergy between what you know each of you brought to the table something different. There was not a lot of crossover at all. In fact, the only area that were really was crossover was the biggest, most uh, most success sort of like the market that was on the way up, which was uh, unified communications and collaboration. Uh, uh, Jen, I'm excited to see the new products because uh, I know that you are too because. You know, this is not an easy process, uh, and and it and I'm surprised it has been almost three years. It, it didn't even dawn on me that it had been uh, it had been going on that long. But I'm excited about the new price. So when we come to Infocom, what can we expect to see, and you know, what what will we see, and what are you willing to tell us about? So certainly, um, I'm excited to be able to give you a sneak peek um, to some of the things that will be on on display in our booth. Okay. Um, as, as Todd mentioned, you know, this is probably the first time that we're able to truly showcase the fruits of our efforts under the joint venture. Um, we are carrying the theme, a lasting vision is being carried over from ISE. Um, so as we've done in prior years, uh, that shouldn't be a surprise um, yeah. to our global customers that have attended both ISE uh, and will be in Orlando for Infocom this year. 
Um, but that theme um, and the three supporting pillars of quality, service, sustainability will be on full display. As Todd mentioned, those are shared values that both the Sharp and the NEC brands carry. Uh, and we continue to tell that message and tell that story into uh, to our customers. Um, you'll get a chance to see some of our future innovations, uh, as well as um, many of the new products that have launched since last year's Infocom. So there's a lot to, to feature, a lot to showcase and talk through. Um, some of the key examples and the highlights, you know, that we're really excited about. Um, LED Solutions continues to be our flagship growth area, key focus area for Sharp NEC Display Solutions, as well as the market. I think the market's projecting, yeah. you know, double-digit growth uh, in fiscal year 2023. I think the numbers that we looked at were 28% revenue growth year over year. Phenomenal. Uh, wow. We're outpacing that market and that growth. We have a full lineup of indoor, outdoor, direct view LED displays uh, with kitted solutions as well as a custom offering. Um, so we could offer a variety of custom solutions, but in our booth specifically, we'll have a feature wall with a 0.9 millimeter pixel pitch at the front of the booth. Uh, really showing how we can deliver a customized solution uh, in a four wide by 12 high configuration, eye popping, color resolution uh, experience, right? As you welcome and come into the booth. In the center of the booth, uh, we'll offer a FE series 0.9 millimeter, 21 by nine resolution kit on display, which is perfect for those corporate customers who are really standardizing on Microsoft Teams rooms uh, to deliver better a hybrid meeting experiences. I think that's a similar to what was on display at, at ISE. Yeah, I actually shot a video of that at ISE. It's beautiful. Exactly. Yep. So that'll be in the heart of our booth. Uh, and side by side or alongside of, of that um, demo uh, will be a demonstration of FE and FA models that are launching later this year um, that are more energy saving. So they'll consume up to 40% less power. So we've got a really cool demo on display to actually really show you uh, how the newer models really consume less, less power um, and then make it a more sustainable, eco-friendly product, if you will. Um, I mean, we'll you're gonna have, I, I, I got an opportunity to see the LEDs at ISC. I was fortunate enough to go to ISC. The 21 by nine is, is uh, awesome. Uh, it's an all-in-one solution, which is nice. It's real simple, um, but you also had uh, uh, an amazing display of how you can curve these and uh, your your LED solutions. I mean, you have a full family of LED and I, I can see why you're projecting larger growth than the industry, but but obviously people are going to see more than LED, right? I mean, you're going to have a lot more on, on display than LED. Oh, for sure, for sure. And, and the exciting piece, you know, uh, we're also going to be launching uh, our first jointly developed large format display uh, the next generation ME series will be introduced under the Sharp brand. Uh, it does maintain the current expected functionality with the current ME series, um, but it does bring additional feature functionality, leveraging Sharp's expertise. So, for example, uh, this new product will um, also have a system on ship capabilities for oh, fluid nice. and high end media playback. Uh, it supports third party CMS solutions in addition to Sharp's own e signage platform. It does have a new mechanical design, but it's still that metal back that our customers have come to expect uh, yeah. and love from NEC. So that's huge. We'll have a 55 inch display um, in the booth and that's expected to launch in Q4 of 2023. So this is the first true visible uh, in the non-interactive space uh, coming together of the Sharp and the NEC brands. Yeah, that's gonna be popular, obviously. Um, and then, of course, the the interactive product you'll have there as well, which you had at ISE and, and uh, yeah, if they and, want. And more there as well, right? So we've got a completely new Aquas lineup. So we've just launched and taking orders for entry level uh, four PB series TVs, um, as well as the PNLC2 series um, interactive displays. Um, products are ideal for a variety of price points in the K-12 higher ed and corporate meeting rooms. So um, we'll have uh, plenty of space in the booth for the new Aquas lineup as well in a variety of sizes. And let's not forget projectors. They've had a good year. Uh, projectors are, are um, you know, 10, 12 years ago, everyone was talking about how projectors are going to die a slow death, but yet they're still, they're not only dying, they're actually increasing in sales because people are finding that it sometimes is a lot less expensive to put in a projector 
when you want a large form factor. And even I think, I honestly think that you're going to gain a lot from uh, Microsoft Teams front row in the projection space. Um, what we can we see, what can we expect to see with projectors in the booth? So with projectors in the booth, um, certainly we've got uh, several new products in our lineup as well. So moving up into the higher brightness range in that um, PA series product portfolio, as well as some of our new offering um, in the you know in the K twelve education space. So uh, probably three or four models on display, um, running interactive or running content you know above the the large format displays in the booth. And y'all were the first company I ever remember showing uh, digital signage using projection. And now everyone uses uh, projection for digital signage in, in certain applications. So I think that uh, you pioneered that in a lot of ways. Well, I'm excited. I mean, any uh, Sharp NEC, well, NEC in the, in the original days when it was just NEC, but always had an impressive, uh, an impressive booth because you had every technology. There's only three companies in the entire industry that literally make every piece of technology, and you're one of those three. But now with Sharp and uh, C together, uh, you you know you you not only have all the display technologies, but you've got this aqueous product line and the collaboration, and now the new uh, the new uh, product that comes out of the joint venture, the new line that comes out of the joint venture. Um, is exciting. So Todd, you must be really excited to see this family come to, I know that from behind, you talked about the ERP system and, and sort of like uh, standardizing and, 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 you know, getting unified communications within your own organization between two different companies. It took a while to do that. So you must be excited to see all this actually appear in the form of products. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it, it has taken some time, right? And uh, we wanted to make sure that we did it right, right? Both uh, how we uh, bring the companies together and how we work together so that we don't have an impact, negative impact to our customers, right? So uh, making sure that we do it right. But yes, definitely starting to see, uh, you know, one of our strengths that we we talked about at the beginning was the breadth of the product roadmap, right? Yeah. And how everything comes together uh, and integrates very well and really gives us one of the broadest uh, roadmaps uh, in the industry, right? Across all the different products that Jen just talked about. And now actually being able to bring these products to market, it's it's very exciting to show uh, the strength of these two brands coming together and what we can really do in a leadership position in the AV industry. So we're we're excited to see uh, the growth in, in a lot of different categories. As you mentioned with projection, uh, it's great to see that that growth. It's not going away. <laughs> There's going to be a place for a projector uh, in the future. Right. And it's great to be able to uh, support our customers with this breadth of uh, product roadmap. Now, of course, you'll be in booth 1201. Uh, won't be hard to find you. There's not that many big booths like this on the show floor, but you'll be in 1201 uh, and it'll be the, the joint sharp NEC display of America booth, uh, displays of America booth. Uh, Jen, Jennifer, I appreciate you joining me today, Jen. I really appreciate it because I know that you're really busy uh, <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of little things. It's amazing how the 90% takes X amount of time, but the 10% takes X times two. The little details take <laughs> twice as long as the big details. Uh, sure. so I know you've got a lot left to do. And Todd, I'm excited to see, I'm, I'm excited to see both of you. And I'm very excited about doing a booth tour. I love doing these booth tours. Um, I think that's where, whether you've gone to the show or you're not at the show, that's where you really get a feel for what's really going on on the show floor. So I'm excited about that as well. So I appreciate you both joining me. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and and going through, especially, Jen, uh, you going through the detail of all the new products that we're going to see there next uh, next week. Sounds good. Thank you, Gary. We'll see you next week. Look yeah, thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Of course, you can see all of our... Yeah, yeah. And you, of course, you can see all of our coverage at ravepubs.com slash infocom, or there's a link on the Rave Pubs homepage as well. So uh, check all that out. And uh, everyone, thanks for joining us.